When you speak the truth and people don't like you, fuck them because the truth has to be told. Less than seven days ago, I brought the dirt and the shovel to bury Alabama and the roll tide, but I didn't expect to see what I saw earlier today as Tua suffered a dislocated hip because slave master Nick Saban had him on the fucking field in a blowout game, which was unnecessary. Please take a second to hear the soundbite that I was tagged in on the gram. So I'm going to play the soundbite from Instagram with Saban, the slave master, being interviewed in regards to the horrific injury and the dislocated hip that Tua suffered because he wouldn't pull him from a game in which they were leading 35-7 to going into the halftime. That was going to be his last series. We were going to do two minutes before the half with him just for practice. And, you know, of course, we got to block him better so he doesn't get sacked, but it's too bad. It looked like Mac Jones was warming up to Tua Lobby to stay in. No, no. We, we, we were just we were going to put Mac in, and then we said, we'll, uh, we'll let Tua do two minutes before the half just for practice. And, you know, I don't worry about players getting hurt, but certainly don't want to see anybody get hurt, especially him. Thank you, Coach. Okay, there you have it, folks. Slave master Nick Saban. I don't worry about players getting hurt. So I guess the African-American men that sign for your team, that play with your team, the student athletes who don't get paid while the NCAA is a billion-dollar industry, while Nick Saban earns $11.7 million, head coach of a college football team? Principal, folks. What the fuck is he even talking about? Oh, we were going to play him into the two-minute drill for practice? What the fuck does that mean? Three minutes left until halftime. But instead, Tua gets sacked, bloody nose, dislocated hip. His college career is over. His NFL career will probably never happen. And I don't want to hear about the bullshit about those dumbasses on fucking social media who want to talk about, well, he could have gotten hurt on any play. Shut the fuck up. Deal with the fucking reality. The fucking reality is that they led 35 to 7. He should have been on the bench. It's not a matter of Saban second guessing himself or Tua wanting to play another series or getting more practice in. What the fuck are you talking about? You're playing in a real life game where guys are coming for your quarterback, where the blocking was horrible. Let's stay focused on the reality. And the reality is that the end result is that Tua is done for the season. Alabama is not top four. No CFB playoffs. And this is why the NCAA has to do the right thing and make sure that student athletes get their slice of the fucking billion dollar pie that the NCAA gets when I'm eating Tostitos because Tostitos sponsors the fucking Tostitos Bowl. Who's going to take care of Tua? Who's going to take care of his family? The young man had ankle surgery and was back on the field in less than fucking three weeks. What the fuck more do you want? Does Nick Saban plan on taking a portion of his $11.5 million and paying for Tua's NFL career, which obviously will never happen? Because he's now suffered a dislocated hip and we don't know how his rehab and how his life is going to turn out. But no, nationwide sports leader wants to have you focused on their fucking stupid rankings. Fuck all that shit. A young man who was playing the game that he loved was abused by his slave master. He wasn't pulled out in an adequate time. And as a result, his college career is over. Who knows if he can resume a normal life? Might, which might have been prematurely taken away from him because his slave master head coach, Nick Saban, didn't pull him out. It's not a matter of what Tua wanted. It's about making the right call and doing the right thing, and you're blowing out a lackluster team, but what? You're hoping to add another seven points so the, so the judges or the people could look down on your team that suffered its first loss against LSU and say, hmm, Maybe they should be top four for the CFB playoffs. Well, you can kiss that shit 
goodbye. Just like the end of this video, Lex Anderson, you know what it is. If you like what you've heard and if you've stuck around this long, subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos because there will be another one. But until next time, someone call FTD. That's a floral service. Send Someone send some flowers on my behalf to Tua and his family. I'm signing out.